Hello and welcome. Today I'll be discussing the PO invoice process using Doclink and Acumatica. We'll be looking at four distinct parts of the process that a user would typically see throughout their day and then review the benefits of adding Doclink into the mix. The first topic is PO capture and output. What I'll be showing you here is how you can keep your same processes in place when creating POs while also creating a paperless repository. We're going to start by launching Acubatica and logging in. I'm going to go to my favorites, then choose purchase orders, and choose my second PO, number 594. When we open that, we're going to first print that purchase order. You can view the template of that purchase order. Click on print and we're going to choose the ERM XPS capture printer. This is a virtual printer that captures that document into Doclink. When we exit from Acumatica and then log into the Doclink web client, we're just going to log in as a user Linda who's an AP person. As we log in, we're going to choose the document types out of our company, my company and choose that purchase order from document type. We're going to plug in that order number, PO000594, and click on search. We can now see that Dahlin captured that purchase order directly from that print capture, just like we would see it if we were going to physically print out that document or email it. Everything related to that document is now searchable, part of indexed value properties. And we can email this document directly from Doclink or set an automated process to have Doclink send that document automatically in an email to our suppliers. As you can see, we were able to simplify the process of PO capture. And at the same time, we were able to eliminate scanning altogether. The next section is receipt entry. What I'll be showing you here is how you can minimize your data entry when scanning and indexing documents is a necessary process, like when dealing with packing slips. Documents that come in via paper need to be scanned and digitized into Doclink for the first time. So that's where we'll start, and that's what we'll assume has already been done, using a desktop scanner or multifunction device to scan into a network folder we're going to call packing slips. When we log into the Doclink smart client, we can go to packing slips, choose the workflow best fit, in this case receiving. We're going to choose our company, my company, and our document type of receipt is as a best fit. Once we go through our property value indexing, we can choose the order number from a drop-down list, double click that, and an auto index will bring back all the relevant data for that receipt. We simply click on the save button and that finishes the process of indexing that document in. We're now going to exit the indexing window and close the Docklink Smart Client. You can log back into the Docklink Web Client, re-log in as our user Linda, and now go to the Workflow tab. Choose our Receiving Workflow, search on that, and we can find our receipt that was recently indexed into the Docklink Workflow. Here we can see the packing slip. Under the general tab is all the index properties that we provided as part of that as part of that auto index. And we can click on the send to receive status in the workflow. This will fire off a process to import that packing slip into Acumatic automatically to minimize double entry of data. If we go into Acumatica, we can see that receipt has just been added as the latest receipt. We can click on the View Documents button as an integration from Acumatica into Doclink. That's going to automatically pull up that linking packing slip because we gave it that, that value that linked it. By using a Doclink Auto Index and a lookup, you can minimize the manual and time-consuming data entry. This also leads to minimizing mistakes so you're able to find your documents faster in the future. Next is invoice automation. Here I'll be showing you you can streamline three-way matching of the purchase order, receipt, and the incoming invoice to save time in processing. We're going to first start by logging in to the Docklink web client. 
and we're going to log in again as our test user Linda. We're going to go to the Docklink workflow. Instead of going to the receipt, we're going to go to the AP processing workflow, choose PO as our category and search. We can see all the PO invoices that are in the system. And we can see all the linking supporting documents that Docklink has pulled back based on purchase order number. If I click on show supporting documents, Docklink will show all three documents side by side to each other. We can now do a visual three-way match on all three documents and make sure what we purchased is what was received and what we were billed for. It is important to note that if we were using OCR for matching, we would never even see this part. OCR would do the three-way matching for us. When we are done with the match, we choose the next status, PO matched. Click on that and Dotling sends it to the PO match status. This triggers a process of the data being sent automatically in a batch to the Acumatica bills and adjustments screen on a regular interval. We can now go log into Acumatica, choose the payables module, go to bills and adjustments, and see that transaction imported automatically into Acumatica. As we launch that up, all the data that we would expect to see is now part of the transaction. And if we click the view docs button, Docklink goes and recalls that same document we were just dealing with. Automating three-way match is a powerful way to increase your process volume without adding additional staff. This will also increase your accuracy of processing documents, saving future time, and eliminating the need for manually matching documents from a filing cabinet. Finally, we will discuss payment linking. Here we will show you through automation and back-end processes a payment can be linked with the invoice it is paying off. We're going to start by going back into Acumatica, and we're going to go to Checks and Payment and create a new payment. We're going to go through our normal processes of creating this transaction, choosing the vendor that we've been using, Home Depot. And once that data fills in, we're going to click on Load Documents to load that bill that we need to pay off. The payment amount is $733.80, so we fill in that payment amount. We then go to Actions, Print Check, and we're using the same method of capturing that document just like we did with Purchase Order. We click on Process. It's going to launch the template for that check. We're going to click on Print, and that triggers Doclink once we choose the ERM XPS Capture Printer to send that document and capture everything about that document into Doclink. Once we're done here, we simply exit out, and the document now resides in Doclink. We can go back to the Doclink web client, search again for that invoice that we've been using, double click on it, and you'll see something different as part of the index properties. We can now see the check number, check date, and check amount all linked to that invoice. With Docklink Payment linking through RetroIndex, you will no longer have to relocate your invoices and staple a copy of the payment to it. Docklink will use data-driven processes to automatically find the invoice and link the payment through matching property values. Thank you for watching. Please get in touch with us to learn more about how Docklink can be an enterprise solution for your document management needs.